thank you for tuning in to rise again ministry channel if you're watching this right now you are doing the right thing at the right time hi beloved in christ welcome to my channel i hope you are keeping well i am very happy to speak to you today but if you are new here on this channel a very warm welcome to our new subscribers today's message is come out of depression in the name of jesus and through only one power the power of the holy spirit many people experience depression at some point in their lives it can happen when you experience a sudden loss of a person that you love the most or your one member of your family or if you receive a sad news or a report from a doctor or a sudden change all those things can cause you to experience a feeling of depression there are many ways that people choose to deal with depression some talk to a therapist some decide to exercise a little bit more some turn to speak to a family member or to friends but the best way is to speak to the almighty god our creator the maker of heaven and earth the maker of your heart the bible is a source of inspiration for many it is also a source of comfort if you are dealing with depression right now you may think this message does not concern you but if you know somebody around you somebody in your family that is suffering with depression kindly share this message to the person let help the community of god to come out of depression in the name of jesus through the power of the holy spirit so what is depression Depression. depression is a mood disorder that causes a persistent feeling of sadness or loss of interest in life. It can affect the way you feel, the way you think, the way you behave, and it can lead to a variety of so many emotional and physical problems. Depression isn't something that you can entertain because it can cause you to fail to do even the day-to-day -day activities and make you feel like life isn't worth living yet life is a beautiful gift from above depression is not a weakness that you can simply snap out of it it can require a long-term medication or treatment but the good news is god has a solution for your depression the symptoms of depression feeling of sadness tearfulness emptiness or hopelessness angry outburst irritability or frustration even over small matters loss of interest or pleasure in most of normal activities such as hobbies or sports sleep disturbance and lack of energy reduced appetite and weight loss or increased craving for food and weight gain anxiety agitation or restlessness slowed thinking speaking or body movement feeling of worthlessness or guilt fixating on the past failure or self-blame trouble thinking trouble concentrating trouble making decisions or trouble remembering things frequent or recurrent thoughts of death suicidal thoughts, suicide attempts, or suicide, unexplained physical problem such as back pain or headache. Some people may generally feel so miserable and unhappy without even knowing why. And there is a line called emergency line and the number is 911. But the Bible offers a better emergency line. It is Psalm 91 verse 1. It is a 911 for the bible what does it say the bible says in the emergency line 91 verse 1 psalm 91 verse 1 it says he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will abide in the shadow of the almighty amen so while depression can make you feel sad and make you feel like life is not worth living god is there for you he is never gonna leave you he is never gonna forsake you he's not going anywhere he is 
there for you. The best way to help yourself to come out of depression, it is to meditate, number one, upon the Word of God day and night, and especially focusing on these words that is spoken in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. The Bible says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Jesus knows that you will experience difficult times. And so he warned us already in the scripture that in this world we will have trouble, but we must take heart. He has overcome the world. Our Lord Jesus Christ overcame the world for us. He overcame the world for you. He overcame already depression for you. At the cross of Calvary, when he said it is done, the depression also was taken care of at the cross of Calvary. So be encouraged, my sister, be encouraged, my brother, and come out of that depression in the name of Jesus. Feelings of depression can be a heavy burden, and many people may make mistakes thinking it is a burden that they must carry alone. But the Bible says that, uh, come to me those who are worried and, uh, and heavy, I will, I will give you rest. God is offering us his hand. He's offering us his hand. He's offering us his word that he will take care of us. He will take care of our burdens. He will provide relief. When you are struggling with depression, it can be difficult to understand why you are feeling certain emotions. But the verse that I'm going to read now reminds you that the way forward is to trust the Lord so that he may provide guidance for you. Things will work out for you. Things will be better again. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your path. There is no sure way to prevent depression. However, these strategies will help you. So number two, take steps to control stress, to increase your resilience and to boost your self-esteem. Choose to come out of that place of depression and reach out to God now through consistent prayers, quieting your mind, through meditation of the word of God day and night, because God is a present help in such times, time of depression. Number three, get treatment at the earliest sign of a problem to help prevent depression from worsening. Number four, consider getting long-term maintenance treatment to help prevent a relapse of symptoms by staying in God's praises now and forever because in the praises of God there is no depression but fullness abundance of joy until I speak with you once again take care of yourself and decide now to come out of depression in the name of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit and remember this word you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. May the Lord bless you. Amen.